In your journey through the back rooms, you'll find a ton of dangerous levels. Ones where you can see creatures running around, or that there's obviously a dangerous environment, or something like that. But the level in today's video is extremely dangerous, and you wouldn't even know until it's too late. And except I'm telling you right now, you're welcome. The level in question is level 68, aka Theater, the Eater. You get it? The eater. Sit back and relax, uh, but don't actually sit back and relax in this level, because you'll never be able to stand up again. You'll see what I mean later. Anyways, let's get into the video explanation, shall we? Go check out my third channel, Spoogly, if you want some more internet mystery horror deep dives. I just uploaded a video on some creepypastas. Go check that channel out if you want more from me. Level 68 of the Backrooms is classified as a Class 3 difficulty and is very unsafe and very unsecure. But it has a low entity count, but it's not the entities that you should be worrying about. The level itself seems to take the appearance of a massive movie theater that sprawls out for a long while. It's just one massive complex with different parts of that same theater. The entire level doesn't feel like a theater though, it almost feels organic. Like it's alive, or like it's an organism that you're walking around inside. There's things like fungus and grass that grow up in the darker hallways, and mushrooms sprout from random areas as well. There are also corridors and hallways and rooms that intersect to this massive theater, and they all lead back to this one large theater room. Now the room is full of theater style seating and chairs, all made out of a reddish dark grey fabric, and at first glance it seems pretty innocuous, pretty normal, until you examine it closer. You see, these seats seem to be coated in some kind of saliva material, making them a gross and sticky mess. Now despite them obviously being a soggy, disgusting, nasty chair, they seem to draw people in and lure them to sit down on top of them. Like even though it looks disgusting, you want to sit down. It's almost this irresistible urge. And when wanderers do sit down, they describe the chairs as being abnormally comfortable. Like more so than any other chair they've ever sat in, this is the most comfortable, even though you're sitting in a soggy chair. You see, once all the people inside the theater are seated in a chair or they choose to sit down, the chairs themselves seem to release some type of chemical enzyme into the fabric of the chair and the saliva that's coating it. This enzyme has one function and one function only, to rapidly the skin of the thing sitting on top of it, which is, you know, just great as it is, but it doesn't just stop there. The enzyme melts and re-solidifies clothing and skin to the chair fabric itself, virtually fusing the skin of the thing sitting in the chair to the fabric of the seat that it's sitting in, causing whoever's sitting down to melt directly to the chair and be unable to move. Nice. Now while this is happening, the victim doesn't really seem to notice anything, and they're distracted by something else. There's a ton of theories on what distracts people. Some think it's a pheromone or an enzyme, some think you're just losing your mind, I don't know. Now once you're successfully melted directly to the chair, the screen at the front of the theater will start to play a movie. How nice. The films that are played here are random and they don't seem to correlate at all with anything from real life. There's not been one single movie that's known. Now, it's unknown if the Backrooms itself made these movies, or if somehow they're being played from an alternate reality that's like Earth. We just don't know. But the movies do tend to be really gory and really graphic, and wanderers are just physically stuck in the chair watching this gory graphic movie, unable to move, and unable to run away. Hey, did I mention they're melted to the chair? Once the movie that's playing ends and the credits roll, the people who are stuck inside of the chairs start to shake and convulse violently, eventually succumbing to the shaking. Think of the scenes from Stranger Things Season 3 where the victims start shaking and then they turn to that jelly looking stuff, and you've seen that before. That's kind of what happens here. Anyways, you're no longer there, if you know what I'm saying, after the credits roll of the movie. The chair you were sitting in will then break down the tissue and dissolve it via digestive enzymes. Uh, but, you know, it doesn't stop there, because this level just doesn't know how to. 
Surprise! After the flesh is broken down by the chairs, it will then be sucked into the chairs uh, to never be seen again. Almost as if it's consuming you for lunch or dinner or breakfast. It's consuming you. The chairs are eating you, which is not very fun. I gotta say, it doesn't, doesn't sound too good. Now, the reason this level is so scary, besides being melted to a chair and digested by it, is that from a quick glance, it seems like a safe theater level. You know, there are several safe theater levels scattered throughout the back rooms, and many of them play as sort of a home base for wanderers or a destination for them to get to because they're so safe. So victims of this level might think that they found one of those safer levels when they get sent here, only to sit down and realize that they've walked into their own grave. Now, survivors of this level are few and far between, since the level can somehow warp your mind into this false sense of security. It seems that the only way that people make it out alive is they somehow notice what's happening before the chairs release that enzyme to you and consume you. Now, if you can get out of there before then, you'll be okay. Now, I bet you're asking, if I do get out of the chair fast enough, if I do, you know, it's luck, where do you go to exit? You know, how do I escape? I don't know what I'm doing. I was, I was trying to segue this into the exit portion. Well, let's just go to it. So to enter the level, you have to walk into a theater on level 11, and you seemingly have a random chance to be sent here. Just completely random, you could be on level 11 chilling, and you'll be sent here. Which again, is terrifying, because level 11 is a widely known safe level, and the fact that you could be sent here, from a safe level, to be digested by a chair, is pretty scary. Now to exit, you have to get up before you get stuck, and run to the movie screen at the very front of the theater, and then proceed to no clip into it. Or you could also run into a hallway that's here and find a door that looks like this to be sent to level 74. Either way, you gotta get out. And the only way to notice what's happening before it's too late is if you sit down and you start to feel your arms getting sticky and harder to move and you kind of get uncomfortable. Now this happens randomly because like I said, most people who sit here think it's really comfortable and really relaxing. And this mainly only happens to people that are wearing short sleeve shirts since their skin is touching the seat directly. So if you're wearing a hoodie or something, you can't feel the fabric of the chair, uh, you're probably going to be consumed by it. Sorry. But if you feel yourself getting stuck to the chair, you gotta get up and run to the screen to get out, or you'll never be seen again. That's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I thought this level was incredible. I love the name. You know, The Eater is very clever wordplay for theater. I love it. Hope you guys enjoyed it too. Let me know in the comments what other levels that you want me to see go over, and make sure to uh, turn the post notifications on and like and subscribe and all that YouTube stuff. I, I don't know. Do it if you want to. If you don't, that's fine. Hope y'all are hype. Thank you so much for everything. I have so much coming out on this goofy little channel. Um, thank you for everything, seriously. I love and appreciate all of you. And I will see you in the next video on any of my channels, whether it's Broogly, Toogly, or Spoogly. I'll see you there, and I'll be happy to see you then.